Good morning, Los Angeles. Could it be happening again? The Dodgers' entire season really rest on a must-win game, being pitched by the best pitcher on the planet, trying to get past his worst nightmares? Yep, happening again. Hi, this is Bill Plasky, Sports Commons, Los Angeles Times, and this is your wake-up call. Wake up Los Angeles tonight at City Field, game four of the National League Division Series. The New York Mets lead the series two games to one after a 13 to seven shellacking on Monday night. Tonight, for all the marbles, the Dodgers win or go home. If they do win, they do go home and Zach Greinke can pitch in Game 5, a deciding Game 5 on Wednesday at Dodger Stadium, but they got to get past tonight first, and Clayton Kershaw has to get past his nightmares first. Kershaw's been on the mound in the final game of the season, the last two Dodger seasons. Both times against the St. Louis Cardinals, both times they needed him to rescue the team, both times he failed. A total of 10 innings in those two games, a total of 10 allowed earned runs in those two games. Again, it's been a horrible situation for Kershaw. He needs to get over that hump. He needs to figure out how to get that monkey off his back. Tonight is the night to do it. Surely it can't happen three years in a row. Surely they won't relive this horrid history three years in a row. He'll be facing Steven Matz, a young left-hander who only has six starts this year, but one of those starts at Dodger Stadium in six innings, he allowed the Dodgers just two hits and no earned runs. He's a tough young pitcher. It's going to be a tough road for the Dodgers. And again, they have the best pitcher in baseball on the mound, but a guy who's also been one of the worst pitchers in this situation the last two years. Is a third time a charm? The Dodgers better hope so. You can follow us at LATimes.com. Follow me on Twitter at Bill Plaschke. Have a great day.